How can only a handful of people, in fact, it's only America and the Europeans, those who say they are white-skinned, because they are white-skinned, anybody else who is not like us shall not have the power and strength, integrity that we have. If the United Nations is to survive, we must be equal members of it. Me equal members, members who can, who can say when we go to the body that we are now speaking truly as members with a voice that's understood, respected, and honored. So I wonder whether you have told them that we also are humans. <laughs> we are supposed to be free and independent, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. <laughs> supposed to be free, the 54 countries we come to the United Nations, it's ceremonial. Every year, September, we are there. We pay lots of money to go there. And to the General Assembly, we make speeches. We go back home year in, year out. But the bosses in the Security Council say, you shall never have the powers that we have as permanent members. And we have asked and asked and asked and asked and asked reform, reform the Security Council. I want to tell you, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, you are a good man. <laughs> you are a good man. But of course, we can't make you a fighter. That's not what your mission was. We will fight a fight for our own identity, for our own integrity and personality as Africans. We are Africans. 